We have sad news to tell you about tonight. A 13 year old Goshen boy who received a heart transplant back in March died unexpectedly today. And as local 12's Anjanette Levy tells us, the community is mourning on the first day of school with Peyton's family. And he was such a big part of this community and we were all pulling for him. Thank you, you know, for for praying and just and being there for Peyton and, and our family. Five months ago, friends of Peyton West and his family stood on this football field to pray as the 13 year old received a new heart. Tonight, they returned to this field to pray for his family after Peyton died suddenly. We don't know why, we don't understand it, um, but we know God has a purpose and Peyton touched so many lives. Uh, in just a short, short time here. Corey West took this photo of Peyton right before he left for school this morning. Corey says when Peyton arrived at school with his brother, he said something just didn't feel right. When he got out of his brother's car, he collapsed. He went to bed, no problems. Woke up, no problems, being his goofy self. Corey says Peyton wasn't showing any signs of rejection. We checked in with him and his family over Memorial Day weekend when the family of his donor, Derek Cisneros, traveled here from Iowa to meet him. Thank them and we feel bad for them for losing Derek. I just wish, wish that he was still alive so we could play and I don't know if I can sleep by myself. Did you guys share a room? Yeah. It's pretty scary when you don't sleep by yourself sometimes when you're a kid. Peyton's brothers aren't the only ones who will miss him. Just looking at this football field tonight, you can tell that Peyton touched so many lives and that his life was a lesson. That's what Peyton would want people to know is, is to love people and love God and, and just be there for one another and, and, uh, and, and hug them and kiss them and tell them you love them. Peyton's father says doctors don't understand what happened. An autopsy will be conducted to determine what went wrong with his heart. His father hopes that will help other children diagnosed with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Brad. As soon as funeral arrangements for Peyton are finalized, we will pass them along.